Hey, what's happening, gamers? Welcome back to Power Rangers Mega Force. Go, go, Mega Force, and it's time for us to go to the Glacier Arena area, whatever. That's a nice name. Sloppy, sloppy, sloppy. No, this game is sloppy, sloppy, sloppy. We'll use this situation to our advantage. Uh, they caught up with me. I won't let you get away, Robo Knight. It's like watching a really bad soap opera. Then I have no choice. I'll fight you. Yep. My turn begins now. And looks like we're playing as Robo Knight. Yeah. I actually like playing as Robo Knight, even though he looks terrible in this game. At least he plays fun. You know. He is fun. He's a fun guy. He's you know he's fun at parties. That's right. It is your turn. It's his, your turn to shine, Robo Knight. Oh no. You okay? No, not go side too. He's crazy, just like the Rangers. That's where they learned it. It's a learned behavior. <laughs> Schizophrenia. He was like, watch me, and I'll show you how to annoy your fellow teammates. No. And then you ask them, are you okay? But why the birds thing? Defeat the boss. Lightning power, fool. That's what you get. Okay. The boss is kind of mean. But Robo Knight's got this. Come on, Robo Knight, you've got this! So I guess you don't play as the Rangers anymore once you unlock Robo Knight. I mean, I he's know. still OP, so it doesn't really matter. That's weird. Why would you not play as the Rangers anymore? I'm surprisingly okay with this, though. Oh, nope, we can't go that far yet. Gotta take this guy down. Don't make Maybe. me destroy you. Maybe you'll play as the Rangers at the end, or...? I don't know. Yes, don't make me destroy you. That's right. It's over, fool! Ah! Dead or alive, you're coming with me. <laughs> yeah! That's what I'm talking. Woohoo! What? Get out of here with that. Leave, fool! Congratulations, clear. No, I can't. Nope! Oh, get the card back! Okay, go say. Go say, whatever. No, really? Slow mo card. That sounds fun. I like that. Slow motion card. This place looks slippery. Yep. We can relax a bit now. Yes, well, every once in a while you can relax. Okay, now I want to see what the slow mo card does. I guess I'll wait until some enemies appear and then we'll use it. Alright, slow mo power! Okay, so it slows down the entire world. Awesome! I don't even Whoa. need to fight the enemies. That was awesome. Yeah, it was. We can relax a bit now. Yeah, we can, because we the whole world relax. is, like, in the standstill. That's kind of cool. I like that power-up. Yeah, let's slow the world down. Oh, oops. Uh, apparently you didn't slow down the falling rocks. We'll just do it again. I like the music, though. It's pretty cool. Slow-mo power! Yeah! What's my name, fools? Look at this. No boulder can match me. Ah! Oh! You still got smashed by Why? That's in slow motion. That's not right. That's all kinds of messed up game. Stupid <sighs> boulder. I think that that boulder 
I mean, that boulder was being pretty bold there. Oh, never mind. It was very bold with the boulder, yeah. Yeah. Oh, boy. That was pretty bold for you to walk into the boulder. You know, I actually had a nightmare uh, where I was playing this game. And uh, then I woke up and I was still playing this game. Yeah, Luke, um, guess what? You're in that nightmare right now. No! <laughs> I thought you were going to say you were in a nightmare where you were stuck in this game. Like, No, that would be more fun. <laughs> as long as it didn't look like this. No, it would it, No, I, my nightmare would be I'm walking along the road and I have to fight enemies. And there's people shouting at me from the sky. Good job! I hear birds! Good job! I hear birds! Way to go! You can do it! I hear birds! Are you okay? I hear birds! You like, said I share birds. I, I know. Just over and over and over again. And that would be like the rest of your life. I'm not called loogies. Oh, that's yeah. so weird. You're surrounded! Defeat all the enemies! Alright, so the red guys... The red guys take a while to beat because they're much stronger than the regular enemies you encounter, but it's like the last like high tier of character for the bad guys. Yeah. Usually you can defeat them with a, a couple swipes of your weapon afterwards. But the blue and the green enemies are the weak ones, and then the red ones are the more annoying ones. So make sure you take them out as quickly as you can. I like how he says freeze, and this is a ice level. I know, right? Totally. Also, wouldn't he say freeze before he shoots? That's usually how it works. You, Stage clear. You you say something before you use your firearm. You don't say freeze while you're shooting. That defeats the whole purpose of stand still. Yeah. Everybody, freeze. Stop moving. Yeah, I know, right? Um, I'm going to shoot you anyway. Yeah, how can the they... The Robo Knight way. How can they... Uh, yeah, you do that. How can they listen to you after they're already frozen? The stubbornest of pests. Yay! I got oh. a card I can't use. And the enemy didn't get away because you're Robo Knight. Yeah, totally. How was the battle? Uh, I think I did well. Yay! Yes. Yes. Let's go at this pace. I'm with you. Warm fuzzies. Speaking of warm fuzzies, hello, kitten friend. That's what cats are. They're happiness in a little, little fuzzy ball. Rangers, has, acquired some important information. has he okay, now? Up. Well, let's go, Adam. Yeah, come on, guys. Noah. Psh, Noah. Jose said Robo Knight's signal was coming from here. I don't see him. Maybe he's hiding somewhere? It doesn't look like he's here. Then what's going on? Adam sounds nothing like Troy. <laughs> huh. A little distracted, Rangers. Yep. Ugh, Has to do with all the voices in my head. <laughs> oh my gosh. What? He really? <gasps> Don't give up. I'm with Troy. He's tougher than any of us. Yeah. You're right. I trust him too. He's one of us. That's right. We're taking you out. Right here. You really think you weaklings can stop us? Yeah. 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 Come on, guys. Let's do this. Oh yeah, so you were saying the guy who uh the the guy who was Adam in the as the Black Ranger, he doesn't sound anything like uh, Troy. Nope. In this, okay. I actually like the Red Ranger in this. He has like a commanding presence. He feels like a leader. Troy is not not <laughs> no. It's like he went from Jaden to a guy in Super Sentai that was like a strong leader and he was emulating that leadership in yeah. Our Ranger Samurai. He was a oh. good leader and a great... Samurai was a great reboot franchise. Like, you know, to bring it back, do something new. Um, it kept alive a lot of the, the spirit of Mighty Morphin, but yeah. it did new things as well. well Whereas Megaforce... 
Mega Force was kind of a joke. Yeah, like some a lot of people in the comments have been saying they it makes sense that, you know, this game has problems because they really didn't like Mega Force the show either. Uh -huh. Of course I didn't really see much of it, so And they tried to fix it with Super Mega Force, but they kept the same Red Ranger. And a lot of the same cast. Now Gia is probably the only character Gia and Jake are the ones that get the most character development in Mega Force and Super Mega Force. Mm hmm And they're really fan favorites. That's why Gia made it into Power Rangers Legacy Wars. Oh, because she's like a fan favorite. She's like one of the most popular characters in uh That's cool. Super Mega Force. But the problem is is the character Marvelous in Japan, like the, the ship captain for Gokaiger, you know, he's a super popular Sentai character, and his American version is terrible. Oh, okay. Alright. It's not that the actor did a bad job, he just... He didn't do a, a, a very good job of um, following the motions and the emotion of the Red Angel Ranger which is Megaforce, yeah. and then when they had him be Gokaiger, who's supposed to be like this very stubborn, brass, um, fearless pirate captain, you didn't really get any of that from Troy's performance as his Super Megaforce counterpart. It's like he just used that power to power up. Yeah. He, he didn't have like that attitude. That wasn't his personality. Whereas Jaden... Even though he was a little bit different than the Sentai counterpart, like the leader who was like a very gung-ho type of character that didn't want to work with a team and he was the Shogun and all this other stuff, the way Jaden carried himself in the show, he did a fantastic job. Because in and out of the suit, he had that like kind of like a weighted aspect to his character. Yeah. Like he had a lot of depth to him. And that's why people are like, Jaden, for a lot of people, is their favorite Red Ranger for kids who grew up because, like, he's a character that just, he commands respect. Troy is not. But when you have Adam voicing Troy, yeah, it's a complete paradigm shift because yeah, there's authority behind this it's voice like now. It's something you never got to uh, see in the show. Right. Yeah. Well, I don't know if I really, after hearing what everyone's been saying about the show, I don't know if I want to go back and watch the whole thing, but... I have never watched all of Mega Force, and I never will. They ruined the Legend War. They ruined it. And yeah. Well, I mean, I feel like Sentai is always a little bit better than... Well, even a ton of... Usually a ton better than the Power Rangers version. Even the first Mighty Morphin Power Rangers... I watched that and I was like, oh yeah, this is actually pretty cool compared to the other Power Rangers, like the first season ever. And then I watched the Sentai version of that and I was like, oh my gosh, this is even better than the first season of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. The Zoo Ranger was just amazing. It was so dramatic. Yep. It's like, I don't know what, what it is, but it's like they, they're just so passionate about like the characters, like the actors and everything. They feel, you can just feel what they're feeling. It's so intense. Whereas the Power Rangers is just like, yeah, let's do this and then we'll get a smoothie afterwards. Whereas no they're, like, they're like, yeah. I, have to, I have to bring back my brother from the past and I can't live until I do this. And like, it's a totally different story. Unless the, it's a parody though. I mean, Car yeah. Ranger... But their parodies are handled really well, too. Like Car Ranger and Mega Ranger, you know, the, the in-space uh, adaption for Super Sentai is a semi-parody, um, semi-serious show about, like, people who are drafted because they play video games to protect the world. I mean, that's a great concept. Yeah, it is. Time to take these fools out. Yeah, that was a really cool concept. <laughs> Mega Hadouken! That's basically what it looks like. Go, go, Megaforce! Yeah, one thing I really wanted, wish they had done, but I know they probably wouldn't have done it very well if they brought it over here, was the uh, parody show, The the uh, Train Rangers. That was really fun to watch. They could have done that. I think that would have been super That cute. is a missed opportunity because there are people in cities that use trains. So Saban's saying that people don't use trains. 
in the America? way they do in Japan. Oh. It's like people use trains to travel people, all over the country. People it's just, use trains in New York City, right. Chicago, Boston, all the... You could just change the rangers to subway rangers. They, you know, yeah, they could still call their trains and stuff like that, but you could have them do a majority of their fighting like in the subway. I don't know. But it was a missed opportunity because it was a great Sentai show. But even people that live like an hour away from a city, they take a train for an hour into the city sometimes. So like a lot of people live near a city, they use a train. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, I'm just, they're, they're even talking while I'm just standing here randomly. I'm just like, uh, I used to be laughing about it, but it's just like, eh, it doesn't matter anymore. They're just being crazy. It's so. painful. Uh, it's still painful. It feels like I'm being rude because I'm talking over all these other people. Well, I don't know. I feel like that's cool that Gia actually turned out to be a fan favorite, but I don't know why, but I feel like the Pink Ranger is always the fan favorite because her outfit stands out more. But that's just me. The Pink Ranger usually stands out, but I mean, the Yellow Ranger in some Sentai shows, she actually does really well. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, the Angel Ranger saying both girls were really great. And the same thing for the girls in uh, Gokaiger were really fun, too. But it, it was just a better story because you had these people that were, you know, pirates, essentially. And. They're trying to find all these different ranger keys from the past Sentai shows. It was a full celebration of everything Super Sentai. Whereas the American version, it's like, they really dropped the ball on it. I mean, I knew Saban wasn't going to do that great a job when they were hyping up stuff, but a part of me wanted it to be really good. Yeah. Because it was a celebration. Now with the 25 years of Power Rangers, you know, because this celebrated 20 years or whatever. Yeah. I don't know what they're even going to do besides the the boom comics thing uh, <laughs> the comic book like crossover stuff is fantastic but I would like them to announce that they're making an animated cartoon based on the Shattered Demen like Shattered Grid series that'd be fantastic Ooh, that would be cool because then you could actually get back all the past rangers and just have them do the voices of their characters yeah that would be awesome, Luke. Or you could get tribute actors for the ones that aren't around anymore. Yeah! Oh my gosh! I'm surprised they don't do more animated Power Rangers in general. They've never done an animated cartoon to this day. They're missing huge opportunities, especially... Super Sentai and Kamen Rider had animated series. Well, like, even... That's or awesome, anime. Luke. Well, like, even older Rangers that aren't as in good shape anymore, they can still voice characters, and they yeah! still... Yeah! <laughs> they still sound... I mean, your voice, even if your body goes, your voice still sounds kind of the same, usually. Also, the Power Rangers <laughs> Hyperforce, like, Twitch series, mm -hmm. those actors who are definitely not able to fit inside of the uh, suits, they could do the voices for their characters in an animated appearance. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, there's, there's lots that you can do with animation. Okay, Alright, guys, let's do it. Ah! Weak, weak, weak! He deflected it. This guy's no pushover. Don't underestimate me. Me! Me! Okay, that's just getting annoying. <laughs> A splendid battle, but Blooper is strong. You'll win next time. I almost said, sounded like he said his name was Blooper. <laughs> Blooper. Oh, I wonder who we're going to get encouragement. Are you all right? Uh, I didn't do as well as I could have. I think it went okay. Sparkles. Whoa. It's okay. Let's try again. I think we did fine. Yeah, I know. This guy's really getting on it's my nerves. It's okay. You can try better next time. So, because Amber and I want this game to be over soon... These episodes might get a little long. Mm, okay. No. Why do you think they are not? You fool! Humans ruin the Earth! They should be your target! Yeah! I might have thought so before meeting the Rangers, but not now. Then you are a greater fool than them! They taught him rap music. Well. Time to make good on my work and end you, Brack. Get me. Isn't that almost the way of the alien? He makes friends with humans. 
or robot. And then he feels like, oh, I was going to destroy you before, but now I met you. You don't seem so bad because you taught me how to listen to rap music or something. And now I like you. Skynet isn't really around, so, I mean, they don't really need to worry about robots going crazy. And, yeah, it is because his viewpoint of humans changed because he learned the importance of rap music and other things. So, I mean... That's kind of weird. Like, oh, that affects... Uh, what? That affects, like, oh, it's a... Wait, I don't understand. Why do they think humans are destroying the Earth again? Because Pollution. Of, oh, okay. You know. The usual. Nickelodeon stuff. Usual Nickelodeon stuff. Pop, propaganda. Whales. Yep. All kinds of stuff. Like, that. that's the one thing I didn't like about bringing back the Power Rangers, though, is because... I mean, in the 90s, yeah, we had some crazy stuff with the Power Rangers, like... Jason, Trini, Zach, and all those guys were like, kind of like Greenpeace members, a yeah. little bit. But Captain Planet! I f yeah, they were, they were kind of like Planeteers. But the other Rangers, like Neo Saban and stuff like that, they're kind of mm, a little protesty, I would say. They're, they're That group of teenagers, they're a little bit too much in other people's business. You know? Oh, like in the show or in real life? In the show. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, you know... Like, they weren't like that in the Sentai version, though. No. Yeah. They were just, like, Cla Captain Planet people in the Sentai, or...? In the Sentai one, they just lived their lives. They, like... Uh, Mega Ranger is a great example of this. They're a bunch of kids, right? So they go to school, they hang out, they talk about subjects, and then all of a sudden a monster will come through a dimension, they'll fight it. They might struggle for a little bit. And then they'll they call just their go Megazord, back to their and then lives. the end of the episode is usually them out of their suits, like uh, trying to solve some type of issue, like with homework or hanging out at a malt shop or whatever. And with Power Rangers, I feel like. Ah, uh, how do I put this? They they spend less time in the suits than they did in the Sentai version, and it's like everything was sped up, you know. Yeah. But Super Sentai, even though the episodes feel shorter, it feels like everything is balanced better. The suit action, the actors outside of the shoot, and like the plots and everything. It, yeah. it really it flows a lot better than the American. It's stuff. like they can do more in a day and in less time than. Feels like. Yeah, it like I don't know if you know I don't know if I know what you're saying, but like sometimes I feel like in some Power Rangers stuff, like they're sitting there talking about like, yeah, we're gonna fight or we really have to believe in this or they're just focusing on what they're going to do and then they do it. But there's no, like, there's no relief from... They're just focusing on what they feel like they have to do. Instead of just relaxing and doing, going, hanging out with friends when they're not fighting. Well, some uh, of the stuff, too. I mean, I actually follow... Quiet, Kose. Yes, I'm gonna break it with a card, my gosh. I follow the, um, the original editor of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, the video editor guy. He has a YouTube channel. Yeah. And he showed all the clips and stuff that he had to do for Power Rangers. Like, he would get, like, the stuff from Zoo, Zoo Ranger, and he would go through and he would piece together what they were going to use from, uh, the show. Yeah. And then what parts they would need to film, like, to, to make up for the time. Um, and stuff like that. So then... I'll let these guys talk. So then, basically what they would do is they would write a storyboard about what they were going to do for the American Rangers, like if they were going to film in Goldar's Dimension, or they were going to do like a putty fight somewhere else. They had to do things to fill in the gap, but they did it in a way mm -hmm. that was so well done that, you know, it didn't feel like you were watching other footage, but... At the same time, it felt like the morphing sequences were a lot shorter, and for whatever Super Sentai footage they needed to use, they would have the rangers inside the command center looking at the viewing globe for the monster terrorizing the city all the time. Oh. And they would cut parts of the suit action because it was like it was too intense for American television. Oh wow! So they took out they had to take out a lot of the fighting. Yes. Oh, that could explain why they, it didn't seem as cool. But that guy was a brilliant editor. Also, they took monsters from other Sentai shows during the... Right before the Rangers were replaced. Mm-hmm. Oh. I have to wait for them to do their spiel. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, whatever. I don't care. Okay, so... Uh, and I don't really care about this. This doesn't do anything. Yeah, it's the same thing as always. Thank you, whatever. Go jump in a river. Okay. So, uh, yeah, good, great. I live in a van down by the river. Yeah, that's great, Robonite. So, basically, <laughs> the rangers, like... Uh, they would attack a monster that wasn't really there. It was from another Sentai show. Oh, wow. We only have three levels left. That's crazy. This, so we're just going to keep plowing through it. But they edited it in a way that looked like they were there. That's cool, Luke. What's your game? Creepox and I plan to poison the earth. Earth! Earth! But we defeated Creepox. Sorry, Rangers, but I'm immortal. Are you now? You're alive, but immortal? How? Found of youth? This can't be true. It's not even possible. Lazarus Pit. Hmm. But I'm here, aren't I? There's your answer. That's not a good reply. Uh, I don't understand that answer, but okay. Yeah, that guy's way of talking is funny. I guess it's cute in the show. Uh, a little stuffed animal face. All right. Red Ranger, ready for action. Ready for action. Yeah. Okay? No. Hang in there. Where are we anyway? You can use cards to attack. No, that... I wish I could use the cards to attack you. So, <laughs> basically what I just did now is the blaster card... Yeah. Makes it so that you can take the enemies down in one shot. Like it really makes going through levels a lot faster. Oh my gosh! Yeah, I'm good. I'm gonna break it, guys. I, I I know what I'm doing. So now we have a blaster card that's much better. Yeah, but just say a, a core example. So White Ranger, when he appeared on the screen, he actually fought a bunch of monsters from Zoo Ranger that the White Kiba Ranger and Sentai from Die Ranger never fought. So the editor would edit clips together as soon as a monster got hit after the White Ranger did a punch toward the screen or a kick. Yeah. They would edit in the monster being hit from the other Sentai show so it looked uh, like both in the Megazord mode and the other mode that the, the Rangers were actually really fighting the monsters when they weren't. Wow, so that was like master editing there. That was master editing. It actually saved a lot of time, but that editor back in the day hardly made any money. Wow. That's too bad. That's oh. pretty cool that you uh, you found him on Twitter, though. I was looking for stuff about Austin St. John and, and Tweet Trang, like, uh, behind the scenes, and this yeah. guy had uploaded videos about what ASJ and um, Twee were like. Like the original Yellow Ranger, Aww. like behind the scenes, and she was a sweetheart. Like she had um, broke her leg uh, during part way through the season or whatever. Yeah. And she would still find ways to do unmorph fights. Like she had, like kind of like what Jackie Chan did. She had like a a cast on her leg. Oh wow! And she just wouldn't use that leg to hit people, and they painted the sneaker and stuff like that. Wow. She was a trooper. And she never complained. For a lot of her unmore fights, though, what they did too is like for her regular things with um, friends. Mm hmm. She's doing a power card. Um, when she was just hanging out with her friends, you would notice that during this time that the actress would be sitting down. Yeah. So she would actually oh. get some recuperation when she was sitting in a chair or whatever else, hanging out with her friends. Sometimes people might never even have caught that she was actually hurt in real life, and that Trini just liked to chill and sit down like partway through one of the seasons, but oh. it's because she got hurt. Wow, I didn't know. No, I did not know that. That's amazing. Yep, that's how dedicated she was as a, a actor and a, a martial artist. Oh, my God. I mean, because I ended up kind of break. I ended up fracturing my foot one time, and it was really hard for me to, like, even stand up. And I and I didn't even break my leg. That was just like a tiny foot fracture. Oh, she she broke her foot. Yeah, but still, like, 
I mean, you're literally, it's hard to just stand on one leg all the time. You eventually uh -oh. lean on the other foot. No, 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 no. All right, there we go. That's amazing she was able to do that. Yep. All right, Blue Fur is actually one of the ow, toughest bosses in this game, but you can easily beat him by switching out rangers okay. like I'm doing here. So, hey, all okay, let's have Blue beat Blue. It'd be hilarious. Ow. All right, maybe this wasn't the best idea. Come and get me, Blue. Yes! Good job! That's what I call irony. Woo! Blue versus Blue. Yatta! Yeah, defeated by the worst ranger in, in this game. Yeah, in this game. Noah's not bad IRL, but in this game, he's the worst ranger. Yeah, they gave him the most horrible moves. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They did indeed. I was actually wondering, like, in most... Well, I don't know if it's different from Sentai to... Well, I'll uh, see you later. Gua. We did it! We're finally rid of Blooper! Yes! At last he's done! They're celebrating his device! Okay, yeah, I know. That's terrible! You defeated Blooper. Keep it up. Okay, you were saying. No, I was just wondering, like, uh, well, you probably have to do your positive like, no, I don't care. reinforcement thing. Victory is ours! Yeah, whatever. We'll win next time, too! I'm I was stronger than them. Mm. Sparkles! You're so powerful. Let's keep this momentum. Okay, finish your thought before right. the next dialogue. Uh, I Quickly. was just gonna say, like, um, what is the order? Is it usually the Red Ranger? Yeah, I'll just say it afterwards. It's over. Right here, right now. Robo Knight, listen. What if your humans fail again? What then? What are you trying to say? Think about it. What if the ranger's power destroyed the world? What? Just what are you up to? <laughs> Let's just say you've all been very helpful. I see then that this time I really will have to defeat you. I am Robo Knight, defender of Earth, protector of the planet. My turn begins now. Okay. Yeah. No, I, Robo Knight is like a hundred thousand years old or something, right? Yeah, but what does that have to do with what you were saying about the Red Rangers? All right, so the uh, Red Ranger is usually the lead ranger, and then the Black Ranger is usually second. Sometimes, yeah. And then after that comes, in any order, pink, blue, yellow. It um, all depends. There's never really been a it's pink really ordered. leader in Super Sentai. In Sentai, it's usually red and black, and then blue, and then... Like Mega Ranger is very different. Mega Ranger based on Power Rangers in space, or like Power Rangers in space based on that show. Mega Ranger, the Black Ranger, was the leader of the group. That's oh, why wow. in Power Rangers in space, there's more scenes of the Black Ranger in his suit than the Red Ranger. The Red Ranger is kind of a goofball, like um, juvenile delinquent in Mega Ranger. Oh. And he has no special powers like the rest of the Mega Ranger cast. Wait. His powers is when he activates his computer screen, he has the ability to learn any fighting move and like any combat ability, and that's wow. his ability. So when they would go away and show the Red Ranger fighting in, in Sentai and in space, it looked like Andros was this amazing uh, character, but... They even had TJ have more of a TJ and Carlos have more of a leadership role than Andros in the show, and they did it in a clever way because, like, Andros was an alien that was isolated and stuff. Yeah, uh, I am so cheesing this boss. Yeah, oh, this well, did you say ninety per percent of the time in Sentai, the Red Ranger was the leader? Or yes. Okay, but then sometimes it would occasionally be the Black Ranger or somebody else. Yep. The Mammoth Ranger and Zoo Ranger, or Mighty Morphin, uh, he took a leadership role when Prince Genki was uh, off on his own trying to find his brother or just doing some crazy stuff. Oh, really? So the... Hold up! Give it up. I'm ending you here. Take this. I am Robo Knight. Licensed to punish all evildoers. Whatever, Robocop. So the black ring. Oh, gotta wait. But not enough to stop me. Blue for gone. He deserved it. 
<laughs> the dialogue is pointless in this game. Are you okay? No, he's not. Rangers, you were fighting nearby? Why you? Time for Mega Mode. He just doesn't know when to quit. Looks like there's no time for a happy reunion. Agree. Come on, Rangers. This game is the reason why most Power Ranger games do not have voice acting anymore. <laughs> True story. Wow. So the Black Ranger took over for the Red Ranger and Zoo Ranger? Mm hmm. He was like, um, think of it like. like second the, in command? The Red Ranger was kind of like the king or whatever, but the Black Ranger was like the Lancelot. So he was the protector of the king. So yeah, oh, that's cool. he would command the troops and stuff like that. I don't want to call the Mechazords. It's Megazord battle time against Blooper. I mean, Bloofer. Whatever. Wait, so when Zack was the Black Ranger, did he have to record a lot of more, or have his stunt guy record a lot more different clips of him doing his hip-hop keto? Because that wouldn't have been in the Sentai version. Yes. Okay. Yep. That's cool. But it's also why the Black Ranger had a lot of scenes in uh, Zoo Ranger, or in uh, Mighty Morphin, the first season, because the Black Ranger had a leadership role yeah, in he was the Super Sentai. So yeah. Same reason why Carlos had a lot more scenes than TJ and Andros in uh, Power Rangers in Space that they showed is because his character in Japan was the leader. Oh, wow. He was the oldest, and in Japan... Leadership goes by usually age, like out of respect. So since he was a senior in high school and the other kids were juniors, he took a leadership role and, you know, on and out of the suits, which makes sense. I mean, that's what happened. And they call them senpai or something else. All right, let's take this fool out. Ah! Oh, kind of botched that. I botched that bad. I'm still trying to understand the whole Megazord thing. I mean, this is fun. This is kind of what I wish that the Samurai game was with the Megazord fights. Because this was fun. Time to finish this fool. Uh, bleeding yeah. sword of death! <laughs> go, go, Megaforce! Looks like he has cat whiskers. It does. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it does look like that. See, that's what was yeah, missing from up. the Mega Force game, the Super Mega Force, is like being able to use the Megazords from the previous shows. That would have been cool. Oh, yeah. But they only let you play as the past Red Rangers and a couple Mighty Morphin. Yeah. yeah. Good work. But the fighting will get fierce. Brace yeah, but we have a way to cheese the game now. Yep. Even with all that power, he couldn't win. Metal Alice. Yes, Morfrak. Everything's ready. Ready? For that plan of yours, you mean? Oh! <laughs> I see. So this was your plan. Brilliant, Frack. Your words honor me. Thank you. Okay, let's see what Troy, I mean Adam, has to say. <laughs> Wish we could meet up with Robo Knight. Yeah, whatever. I don't care. I have faith in Robo Knight. That's awesome. So, this episode lasted a little bit longer, but now we are ready to take on the end of the game. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and tell us what you think of this horrible game in the comment section. Below. Have a great one, people. Watch Nino Kuni later tonight because it's so much better than this game. God bless and happy gaming.